Hello and welcome to the introduction of NCBI. In this video we will be introducing what is the functionality of NCBI and its sub databases. The basic purpose of NCBI development and its functionality is that it hosts different genomes, genetics, genetic information, genes, nucleotide, protein and various other databases. Each, each sort of data is stored in a different database such as a gene is stored in a gene database that is hosted by NCBI itself. We will look at each database in further videos. This video is solely focused on the introduction of NCBI. NCBI is actually maintained by a NLM that is a government organization that is under control on, of US government. It is funded by US government for the development and storage of biotechnology information, biotechnology research. Hence, the biotechnology research or biotechnology information that has to be stored somewhere on a database. So, uh, NCBI was developed to store such data in various databases based on categorical data. The basic and the most basic functionality of NCBI is to store biomedical data and genomic information. But there is a concept behind storing and analyzing and retrieving data from NCBI. The basic concept is that each data should be stored in a separate and its own database. If you look closely, there are multiple databases in NCBI. Assembly, for example, BioCollections, BioProject, BioSample, BioSystems. There are databases that store books as well that are provided by NLM librarians that are for free to use and some books are provided at a cost. That is another topic and for another video, but considering this is an introduction, we had to provide some information. Clinical variations, conserved domains, gap database, variation database, gene database, genome database, geo datasets, and so on and so forth. If you look closely, there is a database named nucleotide and there is a database named protein. And if you follow along, there is a database called SNP. All of these are different data databases that are sub databases of NCBI itself. NCBI is a hosting database that hosts these more than 30 databases that perform various tasks that store various sort of data that store and help analyzing various genomic and biomedical data and convert it into an information. So just as an introductory introductory element, we will do a sequence analysis of a gene called LCT. LCT is a gene that causes lactose intolerance in case it has a mutation and we in this data in this database like other uh, biological databases every sort of biomedical, biotechnological or bioinformatics information is stored. That information is provided by other researchers like you, your colleagues, your teachers and your students. For example, they do a research on LCT gene and they found a gene in a mutant organism and they have found a mutation and this they think this mutation causes and the lactase gene uh, that is a normal uh, gene to perform its function in an abnormal way. So what they do is they uh, sequence that gene to uh, various techniques that we will be discussing in for future videos. 
they sequence that gene they then store uh, that information in their own particular database perform their research and once they have done their research they have to upload or submit that data to NCBI because it, it is a public database and this database is interconnected with other databases such as DDBJ that is in Japan and EMBL EBI that is European Bioinformatics Database that is in Germany. So if that researcher uploads or submits his or their data of that particular gene in our case LCT to NCBI that data will be shared with TDBJ and EMBL EBI on daily basis. So once uh, once he submits his data he has to provide the source he has to provide when he when he or they sequence that gene and what they found in those in that gene in this case they have found various information of that particular gene so let us search lct and see what comes uh, we have selected all databases so this is just an introductory video so you don't have to really put your eyes at heart to understand what's going on but i will be making sure that you understand what goes on so uh, our gene was lct if uh, when we have to uh, when there are multiple genes and we have to make sure that uh, i'm going to work on this gene only and i'm going to ignore the rest of them that gene is known as gene of interest for example we are considering lct here and this this should be our gene of interest so so uh, we search for lct let's search again so you, you know what's going on we search for lct lct is just a term uh, it um, the NCBI does not know what's LCT. So when we search perform a search, that particular keyword, that particular keyword is is sent to the NCBI database and CBI uh, resource servers, and that information, that keyword is converted into an information, and then NCBI tries to understand what the user is asking for. So it understood. It tried to understand that it could be a gene that I searched for LCT. It could be a, it could be a gene. So it it searched for LCT lactase. And uh, since human is the most model organism, and uh, all of the research that goes around in the world is particularly and solely focused on human enhancement, human uh, for human health. So. It has to make sure that the basic or the most appropriate information is provided to the user at first search that is related to hum homo sapiens or humans. So rather than showing us um, a mouse or a dog or a duck, it is directly showing us the LCT gene of homo sapiens. So if you look closely, it tried to show you it tried to guess that it could be a gene that I searched for. So it, it is asking me what is uh, this is not an in, uh, uh, important from inform information, but this is just to provide you information that this is a guess by NCBI and this could be a false guess as well. So keep that in mind. And, and so uh, in this case we were sure that this is a gene so we know okay yes it provided us and the gene so we we are particularly sure that this is a gene this is the basic research home uh, this, this is a basic research home page of ncbi where you perform a search and it provides you a different results from different databases so this is our guess and we are moving along to the main event of that page so it provided us results from 32 databases as I said uh, earlier that NCBI is a main database primary database that hosts 32 sub databases one thing more that I forgot to mention but I would like to mention right now that uh, NCBI is a primary database primary database means that the information that is stored on primary databases in bioinformatics 
is the information that is raw, da raw data that has not been converted into a particular uh, cluster particular information for example there are billions and billions of uh, raw nucleotide sequences stored on NCBI but that information is not stored to a particular uh, not correlated to a particular research so uh, in this case such databases are known as primary databases such databases that are uh, that convert the raw data from primary databases into an information that such databases are known as secondary databases so moving along uh, since our research was provided from 32 dat databases lct gene that result is provided from 32 da databases so literature uh, we will cover literature in our next uh, in a future video in which will be focused on pubmed central and uh, that video will cover uh, all of the literature and databases of ncbi uh, for this introductory video i will tell you that uh, it the, the NCBI found all of the references that were made to LCT in its literature. All of the literature that is stored on NCBI has somehow mentioned LCTI. So NCBI retrieved those books, those catalogs, those articles, those mesh articles, and provided you the details. On our next uh, category, genes. Uh, since it is a gene there are quite possible that this could be uh, 300 plus genes uh, from other species as well that are known as ortholog so uh, it provided the uh, gene uh, gene list if we click on genes uh, that is another for another video but let, let me tell you that if we can click on gene uh, it will show us different gene uh, different same gene from different organisms so that we can track our gene of interest uh, in our case our gene of interest was homo sapiens uh, uh, lct homo sapiens from humans obviously then geo data sets and geo profiles for gene expression homologous gene uh, for homology is a database that stores homologous genes uh, from other organisms and correlates the information similarly pop set uh, is a population set of genes uh, that is uh, for more than a hundred thousand or ten thousand or a thousand uh, population sets of organisms uh, and then genes are compared within that population and correlated to a particular uh, interest of research then uh, proteins uh, identical groups protein protein clusters sparkle structure a structure means that protein has a structure or not and we can obviously uh, we will provide videos for that too and then uh, chemical information of this particular gene all of this all of the all of these numbers they they mean that lct has a reference in this particular sub database of ncbi for example nucleotide database there are over 7000 almost 8000 uh, references to lct this means that there are over 7000 nucleotide sequences individual sequences available on ncbi its nucleotide sub database similarly there is no assembly because it, it is a gene so this, this is impossible that a gene could be in assembly assembly means that a genome has to be assembled assembled and then obviously genomes are assembled so they become genomic sequences and are stored in assembly database of you know, of genomes category in ncpi so for just for an enhanced introductory video we will click on nucleotide and we'll see what what goes on in this page it again try to um, provide you a guess that uh, I search for LCT so this uh, you could the NCBI is saying that you search for LCT so this could particularly mean that you are searching for LCT gene so let's uh, let's not jug around this website and go directly to, to your to your gene of interest but no we have to see uh, 
what are the other results that could mean to LCT if you look here uh, 7865 references are made to LCT so this means that there are over 7000 nucleotide sequences individual sequences available on this database so uh, right now it is only showing 20 a total of 20 we can uh, bump it up to uh, more uh, more per page if you uh, look closely here let's make it 200 and let's see what goes on you should see uh, all of the sequences are being shown but that is the video for uh, for our next topic so uh, for this video let's uh, go back to ncbi and summarize what we learned in this video ncbi actually is a database that, and that is a public and a primary bioinformatics database that shows bio biotechnology information and the bio bioinformatics research information there are tools databases and other development uh, resources that are provided by ncbi publicly as a free of cost method and there is no cost to use to uh, resummarize or produce any sort of research from this data and at free of uh, at any cost you are free to use such data as long as you provide a citation or a reference to ncbi or to the uh, individually owned data Following along, uh, we also need to know that uh, the information stored on NCBI is also stored on DDBJ, EMBL, EBI, and all of the information stored on other databases, the mentioned databases, DDBJ and EMBL, EBI, they are stored on NCBI as well. But the most basic and important concept behind this is that each database has its on accession number and we will discuss what is accession number each database has its own accession number and you have to make sure that you don't try to search one accession number of a of certain data database on another database that will uh, will not produce any results so thank you for watching this video please follow along on other videos and you will uh, and have a very good understanding of NCBI and its, its sub databases. This was just an introductory video. Thank you.